Shining Otaku, it's Cloud9 and your co-host N. And this is Shining Spotlight, the stream where we highlight creatives in the industry in order to inspire you guys. Today we have a very special interview. And of course, you know, this has been going on all season long where we've had a series of interviews. We've had manga artists, uh, writers, animators, voice actors, and even a cosplayer come on and talk about their industry experiences. Well, today for our season finale, straight from Japan, we have a manga creator with much acclaim. She's famed for co-creating the shoujo manga series, Wedding Peach, which also has an anime. And then also she's made many other works, including works like uh, Moon and Blood, and also most notably Shinku Chitai, The Isolated Zone, which is ongoing. Today, we welcome Nao Yazawa. Yeah, uh, thank you for inviting me. And I'm so nervous. And like, I'm looking oh. forward and a bit scared. What are you guys asking me? Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, oh. thank you for coming on with us. Oh, you're welcome. You know, we kind of broke the ice a bit here with, uh, with your introduction. But uh, just for our audience, uh, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself and what you do? Sorry? For our audience that do not know you, tell us a little bit about yourself. I about myself, you know, like uh, I've been said, I'm, you know, like, uh, I am a creator, one of the creators of Wedding Page, because Wedding Page is teamwork. Then I have this uh, story writer, then I'm the, my part is around the art. And of course, we included this, uh, uh, we got involved the uh, making animation. And my part for animation is a couple of the characters' design. And of course, the animators, animation part, they lead the, our manga. And of course, the one, uh, my story creator, Tomita, is going to teeth a scenario writer of the animation. So we got very deeply involved with the anime. And after the other work that, uh, I got this, uh, debut in Japan as mm -hmm. for, uh, Koro Koro comic. It's something like a same magazine, this, uh, Pokemon series. For young boys. Really? Then later, I moved to so the uh, young girl magazine, and from young girl magazine to the chow, it's a uh, what I say mainstream shoujo, and I do the uh, wedding pit. And later, it's something happened because wedding pit imported in a foreign countries, America, U.S. or German, Europe. So I got the chance to invite to so the uh, manga competition, anime competition. And I need to learn English, actually. <laughs> and then, you know, then later now I have the chance to work with a foreign uh, U.S. publisher, then the Moon and Brad and the Bond because of this. Then there's a Shinku Chitai, the I said to Dawn, I've introduced me. I'm a bit surprised you knew that. Anyway, <laughs> 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 it was uh, the <laughs> totally private work, personal work. It's a do doujinshi, so-called doujinshi. Maybe you guys know about the doujinshi. Oh, cool. then, oh, yeah. You know, like, uh, and uh, later, it's uh, my US publisher found that might be uh, interesting. Then they into, uh, translate in English, or uh, it unfortunately, it's not completed. But recently, the French publisher uh, took that one and completed. And now I was thinking about another story about this, uh, uh, I say, a bit relevant with the Isaac Tom. Then at the same time, I'm uh, teaching manga in English in a school. Mm -hmm. Then uh, recently, I wrote that uh, how to draw manga books from US publisher, something like that. Oh, yeah, I've seen all that, you know. I'm like, so as far as like, um, I would say, uh, teaching goes. You know, since I know you do teach, you know, manga uh, to a wide variety of students, do you feel as though, um, like, do any Westerners come to you and try to learn manga? And do you feel as do you feel it as though those do those students? How would I put it? Are those students that are Westerners? If do they understand the concepts within manga? You feel the same as maybe anyone else would. Uh, you mean this uh, different from Japanese yes. students mm -hmm. and Western students? Yeah. Of course, it's not the exact same because Japanese students, they have the very, very big advantage. Maybe you know that in Japan, everywhere you see the manga, 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 On train, on the school, or a government office. No horns. The manga pastors, the manga leaflets, everywhere is manga, full of the manga. And, oh, you know, that they are uh, so we born with manga and die with manga, actually. So, you know, when you were kids, you know, just started reading. You know, we Japanese has a hiragana, katakana, kanji mm-hmm. characters, but only the reading hiragana, they started to reading manga. And the hiragana and uh, katakana, they don't, uh, I'm not yet learning katakana, so the katakana has a hiragana attendant, something like that one. Oh, yeah. So that from very simple, very, very simple, because the young boys and the girls, maybe the four years old, five years old. But we uh, have this very young kids manga, and little by little complicated. So without knowing Japanese people, the learning how to read manga, what is the manga rule? Manga direction. And of course, the, you know, Western people had big, big, big disadvantage. You guys need to read opposite way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then, you know, right to left and the totally yeah. opposite from uh, left to right and English or the other language, this uh, uh, horizontal language. Mm-hmm. So it's a very, very big disadvantage because you guys need inside your brain. And the ones digest it before reading. Oh yeah, because so, it's all it's all the opposite way. And yeah. the way our eyes follow the pages is different. Yeah. And the thing about this is it's uh very amazing Western people learning it very quickly. And of course some of them says I you know I prefer the reading manga or I heard the read a comic. But to still uh, something that very interesting. They have this style a little bit similar with comic. I don't know, but very, 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 very long, deep culture, you know, like mm. the inside of you. And of course, I don't think the Western people, like the US people or like the UK or the other countries, people to draw exact the same one as Japanese manga. I think you guys got to introduce Japanese style and something like uh, make it mature and digest and reproduce something quite new. But I'm really interesting in it. And in the future, it is so far, I'm not yet knowing something like a, a well mixed one. I know some, uh, the very, very Japanese manga like one, but something like very, very Japanese manga, it looks like. Or it's something partly Japanese manga style, partly Western style, something that is, um, uh, exists at the same time. But in future, I think it may be something that's not Western manga. Not Western comic, but not Japanese manga. Something brand new, the quite a new one. That's what it feels like it's starting to do. It's kind of become something maybe possibly brand new. You know, I mean, I see so many different, um, so many uh, different uh, styles out there. You know, I know there's um, even like uh, in France. You know, there's yeah, oh uh, yeah. Bandesne. yes. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, with Japan, the uh, Japanese people and the so-called uh, J-pops. Uh-huh. J-pop, you know, J-pop is not Japanese trend, uh, traditional music. We import Western music, rock and jazz or something like that, but to change it. And something oh. that's new. Oh, and yes. not Western, not rock and roll, not jazz. It's something like Japanese pop. I think something like this happened in the manga. So an American manga or like, uh, you know, a French manga or something like this one. I feel like American manga, to be honest with you right now, is like trying to get its own, like, like trying to get its own ground right now, but no one really knows how to get their own ground just yet. You know, like I'm talking about as far as in, in America, everyone is trying to do like, you know, like how everyone is in Japan, but obviously, you know, we don't have the same experiences, you know, being in America as in Japan, you know, and I think that's kind of what everyone in America kind of is missing that, you know, we have, we have to tell experiences from our own perspective. I think this is a very different. And yeah, at that point of view, you know, uh, many, many Hmong artists are saying the same things. It is a very amazing Western people enjoy the manga because it's totally different. As a bit aged ago, I, I don't know, it may be this, uh, 30, 40 years before, as a, a Japanese publisher industry tried to import manga to English or the other countries, but it was uh, doesn't succeed it. 
Mm-hmm. And later in like uh, Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball, and from that, this a very, very big hit. They are starting to this uh, introduce Japanese manga again. But I think that's from the f- uh, movement, from, uh, what I say, uh, fan side, not industry, not publisher, not editors. Fan side demand, oh my God, I want to read this original story and not only anime. If there is any manga, and the manga artist did it, I want to read it in the fund, in the, like, because of, uh, internet, as, uh, compared to the old days, it is easy to get access, even in, uh, 1990s, early 90s, uh, starting internet, very, very beginning, but they can do it. So, that because from the fund demand, audience demand, it's very huge power. And they have the very, very big field to accept Japanese manga. And of course, compare with Japan, because we read the uh, Japanese people, like from young to old, everyone read manga. So market is not big yet. As uh, compared with Japanese and the manga industry, the Western industry is very tiny, but oh, yeah. still it's uh, growing and uh, some artists born already. That's amazing. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. Likewise, actually. Yeah, uh, totally. So, kind of going back a bit, uh, so you teach foreign students. So what uh, what inspires you a bit to uh, to teach in that sense, or English teaching for that matter? Inspire? What yeah. The, or what, uh, why did you decide to uh, motivate? To like, ah, what motivated you? It just happened to I speak. That's all. You know, when it's, uh, uh, first I got, uh, I was, uh, you know, I was, uh, uh, school. There's, uh, uh, ordinary uh, teacher and there's a school uh, thinking about the Japanese student. It's something not this uh, full time school. Just the people come to after school, after job, or something like the time of the school. It's kind of when the school built, mm-hmm. this uh, school director asked me if I was interested in uh, having the time at that time, not so really busy as among artist job. So I said, yeah, yes, I, I have, I can have it. Then happened to, you know, I, I said before and I got chance to invite this, uh, Western, like, uh, anime conventions. Then, uh, that's because of this, I need to speak English because I have no editors. I have, I, I'm, at that time, I'm not l- a relationship with a show kind of wedding paid publishers. Yes. So, you usually, manga editor got invited. They, they know, uh, some of their editors, the manager with them and attend them. But that time, I had, I had to do everything by myself. So I need to speak English. I can't expect it's my publisher people. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Everyone can speak Japanese. <laughs> so I need to speak English. So I need to kind of, um, before that, I don't speak English actually, but I only learn English. Then since then, I have the relationship, I have the connection with Western publishers. So I need to keep to using English. Then uh, sometimes I had the, uh, manga workshop during the convention because many people want to try the manga tools or like to learn the manga, how to draw manga and this kind of champ. To the... Then there's uh, my school director, I uh, heard about it. And, uh, why don't we start with the foreign people? This, uh, I deal with the foreign people. And at that sense, at that time, he was thinking about these uh, people who uh, attend American school in Japan. Mm-hmm. But not, uh, I actually, I have no a student like that. And all these uh, people working here at something like uh, English competition school or a kind of a short t- t- trip to Japan. And also, Japan. Like, like, a, like a tourist. Tourist, basically. yeah. Okay. Tourist, basically. Yeah, but this just happened to not have a chance to, I speak English and I have a, uh, you know, I have the job in English, I was a manga school. But this uh, teaching manga in English to Western people, I found a lot. Something like, uh, maybe if just teaching Japanese students, if I was teaching manga, maybe I didn't, I didn't, uh, found it. I didn't realize it. And lots of things I found it. And one very, very interesting story. And one of the, uh, she was, uh, German. 
and German student asked me how to read manga. And the first reading text and look picture. Or first a seen a picture and reading text. Which way is correct? Oh, yeah, and, if it's left, left or right or right to left. And I'm totally surprised because we Japanese, we doesn't, uh, what I say, uh, conscious. The reading the sentence and looking at the picture for us is the uh, text, font, and the picture and the equal. So like a sound effect, sound effect design letters and the oh, picture yeah. is equal. So uh, yeah, the, uh, even so, which is the first? No, this uh, just like a order on the paper. If there's a font is the first, we read the font and look at the picture. But if there's a face first, then let, uh, you know, because uh, we read, uh, right side to le 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 uh, left, to left side. So if there's a right side of the face first and the left side later, so five face later. And if opposite, the letter and the face. And that meaning. And the first is hard sound, then the look is a face expression. Or the face expression first and heard later he, uh, listening, uh, word. But there's very definitely not the same, definitely different. And that among artists calculated it. But the Western the student, or at least the student, is, uh, doesn't realize it, doesn't realize it. Then she is worried about which is right. And if I read in manga, it's correctly. It's a bit oh, uh, surprising. They're me. worried about basically like the panel order, where every, like if they're actually putting the panel order correctly. Yeah. You know, then uh, panel order, you know, like, uh, you know, I don't know, because uh, we, 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 when we look at the manga, into the two pages, when the page open, it's the two pages in front of you. That is one picture, we think. Then something like uh, look, watching like a movie and just, on the, uh, on the stream, on the, this uh, uh, panel current, and we just lead, we just go forward. And we doesn't uh, sense uh, this order is right, this order is wrong. But when it comes to very young kid, something the five, six years old kid, uh, the panel has no numbers, one, two, three, four. Because they said they had the first time to reading manga, so they doesn't realize, they don't know uh, which panel is the first, uh, the panel order. So the first there is a panel order, but later it's off the panel order because it's disturbing no noise. And okay. this, uh, yeah, we can see it. something like this is maybe different from this uh, Japanese audience and the Western audience. Hmm, what do you what do you think, Nico? Do you think it's much different? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, I mean, it's reverse, if anything. Um, see, a lot of the. Uh, from what I gather, a lot of the manga or Western mangaka that try to uh, pursue this as a career, they don't have much of a background in comics at all, really. They're they're mainly fans coming into this, if you will. So they don't really have the background for um, how to do panel layouts and stuff. But it's, it's kind of the same because uh, all it really is is following the order of the eyes. You know, on the Western standpoint, you're going left to right, of course. And you you know you you start with you start with a panel that catches the eye first. Keep it to where the next panel is going to follow an eye order, and uh, it and that another panel is an overlap into that eye order. If you just, if let's say you wanted the fourth panel to be the fourth panel, but it's for some reason uh, higher or rising than the third panel, then the the eye is going to go in that order and think that fourth panel is the third one. Um, so that's that's important to make sure you got your sizes right in, in that sense. Um, I mean, there's more that goes into that, but uh, that's yeah, the size, uh, the size difference in the panels. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I got you. I know one difference, major difference between I think like manga versus like a lot of Western comics is the page size. Like the pages, I think are like kind of I don't want to say shorter, but kind of like shorter in manga versus I think the American comics are like the pages are a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. At least from what I see. Could be, and of course, you know, like uh this uh, uh, number of panel. As American comic is more, there's more uh, panels than Japanese. Yes. Right? And of course, Japanese, 
actually, basically, first three Japanese manga to produce in a uh, weekly or monthly magazine, it kind of um, B5. This A5 size is something like similar with uh, American comic. And not something like large and uh, f- uh, or kind of abandoned French comic. French comic extremely large, something like picture book size. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah manga is kind of, but this, uh, of course, is a manga artist calculated because later it went a tiny, tiny book, like something like a uh, paperback size, tiny book, and we produce it. And at the same time, it's kind of, of course, maybe you, if you have no chance, that uh, uh, old work is something like uh, Osamu Tezuka Astro Boy, for instance. Oh, so many yes. panels. Oh, I'm wearing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's great. I, I'm I actually right got that. I actually got this. Um, oh, what's the name of the city? Um, the city that uh, Osamu, the Osamu Tezuka Museum is in. I can't remember oh. the name of it. Ta, 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 yeah, I, I got it there. Takarazuka, wow, that's right. <laughs> I've never visited it yet. Anyway. Oh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so when it's kind of by uh, history, this is, and at the same time, getting this uh, from uh, monthly to weekly, the panel is bigger and bigger. And one chapter, at the, uh, with a story inside one chapter as a uh, shorter and shorter. It's something that could compare with uh, Tezuka's work or this uh, uh, Phoenix or like Astro Boy, and the two pages or four pages, lots of stories inside. But now this is only this one uh, kind of, uh, one, this, uh, the, uh, at least got four pages, we consume one chapter, 20 pages or so. And something the stream is very different. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, still like, um, you know, when it's the same for two Japanese students and the Western students, it's a panel work. Teaching panel work is the hardest part. And mastering panel work is the hardest part. We call this net name. It's manga jargon. It's a name which we call this uh, uh, speech balloon inside the text and the panel work storyboard we call name. And this uh, uh, construction, this uh, name is the most hardest part, like the Saniko says, kind of which panel house are uh, large or small. And this, which the, the first uh, panel, when you the page open, the first panel, you need to get audience eyes. And of course, it's a, a ending panel. It's a sort of cliffhanger and to encourage the opening page. Mm-hmm. And yes, of course, in a way, uh, many editors say, and I agree with it, if the leader confused to reading order, or if a leader wait a minute and go back to read, it's a you lose. Because there's a manga oh. must be easy to understanding. It's something like a movie. When you're watching the movie in a theater, you can't just stop. You can't go back. Just go ahead, go forward, go forward. But if you got confused, totally understand, totally can they are lost in the story. So the uh, director's intention that it doesn't uh, uh, you can't, you can't get anything about the director intended. It's something like this one. So if you kind of, you are reader starting to read, go back, that your manga is not charm enough, not easy to understand enough, or not exciting enough. If your story exciting, they can't stop to reading. They don't want to read it back. So it's okay when they finish one chapter or finish one book. Then go back. It's pretty nice because your work is very nice. So they want to read it again. Well, at some point, these are nudging them. So they want to go back and make sure it. But during reading, if a leader want to go back, that you lose. You shouldn't do this. You got me, make, me taking mental notes right now because I'm thinking <laughs> to myself like, oh man, when I'm, when I'm writing, because I like create my own manga. I don't draw, but I write. Um, mm-hmm. And now I'm thinking, well, if we do a manga that people are like having to go back, then I guess we already <laughs> lost. <laughs> yeah. It is very, it's called it's very, it's not e- easy. So, and of course, if you're not too easy going, too easy going, that meaning to play. So leader get used to exciting one, leader get used to the very uh, charming panel work. Is it an hour that leaders know it's a lot of manga. So, you know, they get bored and they stop to read. 
So you need enough complicated, need enough exciting, but you know, need to keep in the leader strongly, firmly, so not let them go back. That is really important. Like a balance. And right. very hard, of course, it's very hard. And I, I don't think that all the manga artists kind of uh, included uh, for, for professional people. Not every, not every time that can you can do it. Sometimes you failed. But this is ideal. So we think you need to pay effort to reach this kind of ideal style, ideal way. Then this uh, everything we use in a way are the characters looking, characters' eyes, or there's a speech balance position, or text position, or of course kind of construction or the one panel. And the way to put the uh, reader push, go forward and forward or forward. There's something like this kind of way we think it's most important thing. This is a very hard part. Okay. So Actually, before I get to my next question here, uh, we did get some comments that came in. So uh, Sean Tucker, he uh, came in saying, uh, Ohio, he, uh, you forgot a, a line over that uh, second note there, Sean. Uh, but hey, what's up? No, what's uh, up, Sean? Thanks for joining. Exuberant Cosplay came in saying, hey, how's everyone doing? Doing great, Exuberant. Doing great. Lead Ace, thumbs up. Thank you for stopping in. He came up with a bunch of vegetables and fruits. And uh, we got the vegetarian of the uh, shiny lights here. <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, kind of going back here again, what, uh, as far as uh, your career as a mangaka or a manga, manga artist, uh, mm -hmm. what were some of the challenging things drawing? And uh, I kind of want to know specifically, what were the challenging parts of drawing Wedding Peach? Actually, before you Time. answer, before you mm -hmm. answer, uh, yeah, that was Sensei. Um, I don't know. Can we throw up any images of uh, Wedding yeah. Peach by any chance? Yeah, right just so the that. audience, you know. Yeah, that was. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About this uh, uh, challenging part for me, to Wedding Peach. Yes. You mean here is the most challenging part? It's the four girls. Actually, you know, as I said, I got debut in the uh, Koro, Koro, Koro comic mm -hmm. and the kind of uh, for as opposed to young boys. So not this uh, Shonen Jump style, but this very young, very young, but still looking you know, for uh, boys. So I, I grew up this uh, when I was young, when I was a kid, there is not so many this uh, TV animation for young girls. And my, you know, like, uh, uh, like for instance, like uh, Tetsuan Atom, uh, the uh, Astro Boy, Cyborg 009, or like uh, the huge robot story, Majinga Z. That Majinga Z, you know, it's kind of something like the huge robot story or something like uh, uh, Power Ranger style stories. Oh. Like gotcha Man. It's like, what is it? So, I, 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 and actually my, uh, parents, uh, didn't like, I didn't like uh, reading manga. So they won't bought manga for me. They won't buy the manga for me. So I just enjoy the TV animation and TV animation is a whole the world boys, a devil, devil man, or like, uh, watching that, what I'm talking about, I grew up, something like this one. And I got the debut in a shonen manga artist. Then about the wedding page is something like uh, fluffy, sparkling, flowers, something like this one. And the most hardest part uh, during the flowers is my friend said, your flower is something like a soap, made by soap. It looks like very hard. <laughs> it's not soft and fluffy, yeah. And if, I think in the film, kind of, uh, it kind of uh, continues the six, the five volume, two years, uh, two years a bit. Then, uh, a later time, I start. I learned a lot, so I could, I can draw, <laughs> and I, I become can, I can draw that and flowers, whatever. But I learned it how to, you know, like uh, the girl's style and the huge eyes, the sparkling style, and that's the same time to appealing the girl's romantic comedy. So, and I learned a lot about this uh, construction of stories. I can imagine. 
Yeah. So were you were you all like um like home trained essentially? Like you just trained yourself on how to like um gain like did you did you study like were you all self taught um on basically being able yeah. to like okay <laughs> wow you know? So with my editors and it kind of discussed with editors then I like, you know like we talked about how we can get this a young girl's heart and which something like uh, you know like this uh, okay you make them hug here you make kiss them here or something like that and <laughs> how then I need to this uh, produce the situation you know like this uh, the goal is decided in a hug Okay, so how I can introduce and hug and then kind of story and think about it, something like this one. That's kind of a lot of challenging. Yeah. And I learned a lot, I think. I can imagine because, uh, you know, I, I look at the series and, you know, even just uh, just the fact of drawing a bridal dress, you know, frequently and uh, all the accessories that go along with it. I, I, I can imagine there were some challenges with the drapery and the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, um, I because I, I, I tried drawing dresses before, and uh, I've oh, definitely yeah. learned a lot of implications uh, with that. Um, but working with Sukihiro Tomita, how was mm -hmm. that? Yeah, he was very generous, you know, like uh, his career, his career as a uh, what I say, uh, script writer for animation. Yeah. So, what is a script writer? And like um, a script writer can't feel fight his story. Director candidate, as a voice actor and actress candidate. So sometimes not as completely the same. So I think that he is something like a very uh, craftsman. craftsman. So he got used to, you know, he uh, very flexible. So like the when he makes story, the basically we talk in the me and editor and the Tomita. And we can we uh discussed what kind of story we can produce next uh next one. Then they say he has his own idea, but editor say their idea or their opinion, his opinion, and me too, and a uh, point of view for a short manga, or like uh, it, when it kind of uh makes this uh, uh picture as not letter, let's make drawing. How do we can show it and how we can't show it? And okay. he is pretty uh, flexible. He can uh, accept what this uh, we saying, we opinions, and not insist so not so very much. And of course, if the she he has some part and in insist, we respect it. Okay, you insist it, so we can take it. Something like this, and like this work, work go. Something like that went on. But later, when it when the Pete starting a broadcast. He's uh, joined the Wedding Pete team as a uh, chief story writer. So he's pretty busy about the uh, story because he uh, he need, you know, about the story. Uh, so, uh, there was uh, four, uh, four teams, uh, uh, script writers. And, but he was a chief. So he not so, uh, he didn't take all the story, but he need to check. He needs to check, you know, all the stories. So the, he is, well, he was pretty busy. So later he just he just sent me like uh, a TV animation script, and we go this way, you go oh, your wow. way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay. Yeah. Just so like, here you go. go. Enjoy. <laughs> wow. You know. So uh, just uh, just to clarify for everybody, uh, uh, Suki Hero, he's the uh, he's the author for Wedding Peach. Yeah. Uh, Yep. So you mentioned uh, you mentioned a bit ago, uh, actually twice now, about uh, working with Coral Coral. Uh, for some of the Pokemon fans out there, what was that experience like? Uh, it's an uh, experience at Coral Coral Comic. Yeah. It's quite a uh, short time. I got debut there, and I drove. I did it. It's a three. Sh uh, just only three one shot. And that, that is the same at that time is a, a, a guy from Koro Koro Comic Independent, but not in, kind of independent with the Shogakan and uh, starting, uh, starting the new, uh, uh, new, uh, monthly magazine. It's for a young girl. He wanted to, to create something as a, a same Koro Koro Comic, but for girls. And because he's the from ah. Koro Koro Comic, 
he was uh, he told me if I was interested in a move, and he said if I move, I I could give you a series. Then I moved. <laughs> 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 because the Koro Koro comic at the same time the Koro Koro comic is a pretty good, uh, 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 very very popular, and very competitive. So many new people there. And quite competitive if you got the debut, but still when you survive there, it's very, very hard competitive. So I went to move the new magazine. So just only the three, uh, manga, uh, uh three one shot there. But, uh, before I got the debut, I visited, uh, Koro Koro Comic. Then they showed my work to editors. Then editor checked my work. They gave me the criticize. And I did this, uh, uh, three, uh, two, two, three times that. And the third time, the editor, uh, took that one and put this apply the lucky combination that, that win it, that won it. That's, that's the reason. So I learned the basic manga from the Koro Koro comic editors. Okay. That was in my one. Yeah. Now, what, uh, and from your perspective, what is what is it like working with the uh, with these different editorial teams? Uh, not so much different, but I I don't know because you know, I just work with uh, Shogakans Shogakans editor. Shogakans. Yeah, uh, the one there's a big publisher, one big publisher, one Japanese big publisher, Shogakan Shueisha Kodansha. Oh yes. Yeah, and sure. each company is maybe this. Uh, 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 this uh, training, the editor, it's not the same, I guess. So the Shogakan's editors, kind of because they, uh, you know, basically is uh, all the people as uh, coming to the Shogakan. It's not intended to the manga, uh, pub, uh, manga publishing or manga editing. Just so you can check they are qualify and distribute and okay, uh, they get the, uh, uh, assignment. Okay. You go to the manga department. You need to go to encyclopedia department or something like this way. So as uh, once you assigned this, uh, manga editor department, you want this, uh, uh, you know, want to, uh, uh, with this, uh, your, uh, senpai. It, uh, they are veteran editors and look at what the veteran editor does and learn from veteran editor. So there is something this uh, unique culture, each editorial department or each publishers. So all I know is only the Shogakan and some other independent, independent editorial, the company. It's not that much different, but Japanese editors, especially I heard only a uh, manga part. But editor is very, very deeply committed this uh, when you draw in the manga. So it's something, as I said, wedding pitch, it's a main story, the making story. It's not only me and uh, story writer Tomita, and we have this, uh, our uh, ed editor ed uh, discuss what kind of story we can go. And editor say, I don't like it, or my reader, our reader is not 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 one to read something like this one, or like sometimes editor it uh, gave us the books or illustration books, and you need to read this one to study it. Or how about this story, or something like this? Editor is deeply commit something like a uh, part of a team. That is the Japanese manga style. So. Many, uh, editor, uh, many manga publisher are thinking, um, and, and editors raise is the new manga artist. So editor, the sometimes editor teach, not exactly teach, but something that they think is a raised manga artist, the built manga artist, and kind of especially storyboard part. Editor is not artist. So they hardly touch about this, uh, drawing part. But the storyboard, this is they really, really fuss about it. So if you are new, sometimes kind of fifth, sixth, it's kind of times kind of you need a light. So there's like kind of like a pride. There's a pride that uh, editors kind of take in saying like, okay, I uh, brought up this manga artist or I raised that manga artist. Yeah, I heard some editor <laughs> at the famous editors is very proud of. I brought you know, like a very famous manga artist introduce words. Without me, he couldn't 
succeed or something like <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not. And of course, you know, like um, not very super editors, you know. So sometimes if you got this uh, uh, bad luck face to something, these are uh, not these uh, effective editors. And I know there's uh, some manga artists, a new manga artist, there's a uh, gent publisher to seek the better editors or I can uh, quit the job entirely. And some of them get this uh, nervous breakdown. I don't worry. It's just have, like a bad luck. It's have you ha ever had like a uh, situation where uh, you and the, um, the editors, uh, like creative differences were vastly different, you know, and it was hard for you guys to work together? Yeah, actually, I leave this uh, uh, Chao Magazine, this wedding page land, because of this uh, uh, Shogakkan, as the Shogakkan, the police, he changed editor, they changed editor very quickly, once a year, or oh, twice wow. a year. And they say, they insist this is a fresh air inside. And this is one, uh, one point, of course, if you face to bad editor, and you can stand one year or two years, and then sooner or later he moved. But if you got the good one, and something like the very, very hard time, and I, actually I got the editor. The editor is not actually bad editors, but it doesn't fit me. And we doesn't agree everything. So I just stopped to uh, going to the Chao magazine. Then Happened to that time I have the chance because I leave the, I, I left the Chao Magazine. They got invited from this uh, German publisher if you are interested in the uh, manga convention. And that started oh. the deal with the Western world. So I don't know if it's lucky or unlucky, but it oh. happened. Oh, we have con conventions over here, not necessarily manga conventions. They usually do anime conventions and manga kind of takes a you know, yeah, and overall, it's a whole Japanese culture convention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, something like that. Then, of course, the, uh, before that, yeah, I know. I, I have some editors. Actually, one editor. It's very, very, very kind of... Um, yeah, the stupid. Actually. <laughs> 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 and he was very famous. So it's something like, uh, you know, when, when it's kind of your school and the student together and complain about teachers. Mm -hmm. It's something like that. When it's among artists together and the same as a Chao magazine, this among artists together, we all this kind of very, very, very excited this uh, discussion about the editor. And ev everyone got to suffer from the editors, and he gone and the sooner. But anyway, it and um, not gave me this a uh, fun letter, not part fun letter, and this a uh, forget the appointment, and this a uh, forget the meeting to go somewhere. I remember it kind of because wedding page is very young girls, so one of the fans sent me the cookies. I bake cookies. I want to give you. Then okay. he gave me half years later the cookies. Oh wow! Like and you know the kids make cookies, so it's a totally you know <laughs> so like, you're like oh my pure, god but... pure ingredient, and not something like uh, what's a kind of this uh, chem chem chemical stuff to keep it the long. So I can't eat it because <laughs> you know that's a uh, six mm -hmm. six. Six months later, six months before yeah. the baked one, you it's very dangerous. <laughs> wow, like so after like all that time, it's just like, yeah, here you go, you know. Yeah, but you know, because the young girl, so this, I lied to her, you know, I ate the very <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. What if she's watching right now? No, I'm, I'm playing, but like, like from way back then, like, wow, you did that. So, no, I'm kidding with you. It's something like it was quite rare. Mm -hmm. This kind of stuff, it's not not as a uh, what you say kind of pointless. Not not only editor. It's kind of but it's a uh, stupid as a human. So it's kind this kind of the people is not uh, many. And he was some very 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 superstar about this kind of the stuff. Oh wow, interesting. <laughs> so you um. Uh... So you have a couple of other works uh, that you do as well, or that you yeah. do. 
and, uh, and are currently doing, you know, um, we got Moon and Blood here. Well, that actually finished, but uh, yeah, I, know, I know that one's finished. But the next one I'm going to pull up is uh, the uh, current work you're working on, uh, the Isolated Zone. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, Shinku Shichai? Like, yeah, yeah, it's a new series. Yes. I love the cover. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I think it's a very cool design. The French guys did it. A very cool design. Yeah, that's nice. Um. The one you're currently working on, uh, is, uh, do you have any long-term plans with that one? You intend for it to be animated at any point, or is this just kind of a... When are we getting uh, the anime? The anime. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, I, I have no uh, the, uh, planning about anime. Uh, you know, like, uh, compare with all days, you can, uh, making animation hard is with a lower. Because so many animation, every season, so many uh, new animation to make. So, uh, even as a core anime fan, need to choose which series you follow this season. Yeah, There's that's so true. many. So you can't follow every single season. It can uh, still, it's very hard to get the chance to be animated. I have no plan at all about the animated. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You know, there's so, so, so many works. So, like, when you did. Like back in the day when um, Wedding Peach became mm -mm. an anime, how did you feel then? Like obviously with that being like, you know. Yeah, I was very excited because it uh, actually Wedding Peach is kind of team and the team uh, intended we are, uh, hey, 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 oh, I say, we uh, set the goal, this animation, and uh, they be became animation from the first. But it's very hard to find this uh, toy company, actually. At that time, one year series, not like now. Now it's one season or two seasons. Oh, so, yes. Uh, ten, episodes. 10 episodes, 26, 13 episodes, uh, 26 episodes nowadays. But at, at that time, basically one year, uh, one year series, 51 stories. Then, it's at the, of course, the wedding page, they aimed for young girls. So, like, the, we need a toy company. Toy company is a big sponsor to the pay the money because they make, are making one year animation that they needed lots of money. So, that we started to, from the first, we started this, uh, April and, uh, uh, started the, uh, from, uh, March precisely and the new series. And we are thinking, we were thinking and uh oh, autumn. At autumn season, autumn new series season, we can start. We hopefully start the anime series. And this uh uh editorial department looking forward, this uh toy company, animation company, the other sponsors. And we got the animation company very uh quickly. I, I believe it was about the May or around so we uh we got the KSS World Anime Company and OEM uh, OLM it's kind of uh, uh I know the same company the, uh, now the making Pokemon but this uh, we couldn't find this a uh, toy company ah I see. then that's the reason we need to wait uh, until next year and next year the, uh April season. So that one year later, the animation is started. So, and of course, it's very excited. But at that time, and they, I, I said, I, like I said, this kind of getting animation a bit harder is very high. It's only that the whole work became animation. And even you intended to become animation, that kind of uh, many products just uh, finished without animation. So oh yeah, it's pretty lucky, and you know, like, uh, yeah. So, I think that happens so you know, often. I remember when I kind of starting a party and met this uh, voice actors, the voice actresses, and I met this uh, uh, Ueda Yuji. He voiced a uh, hero, and the uh, I went there with my friend Mami Tachibana. Then the, the, we uh, she asked and uh, please. Do I uh, say it the dialogue or something like this? And he showed uh, the uh yeah the, he showed us he uh uh, uh performed for us. And, oh my god! Wow! <laughs> 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 oh my god! We are voice actors in front of us. What something like this way? 
Oh. It's very exciting. And I can, uh, uh, um, sometimes I visit this uh, company and uh, and join this, uh, 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 what I say, uh, what I say, uh, script, right, uh, me meeting with Tomita. And okay. I, I learned a lot. It's a very interesting experiment. Interesting. Now, I'm like, that's like, I feel like everyone's like, uh, dream so it's always I'm always curious like what it is like or what it's like actually being on the other end of that you know like having an actual anime you can actually be like yeah you know that's my series oh, right there not <laughs> that much difference because you can uh, you know uh there's uh an, an animation is totally different to team so anime team and manga team and of course tomita has included the both team but basically, anime working for her anime team and manga working for manga team. And if this can anime need me, like character design, let the producer contact me. And if I can uh, build, uh, draw the character's design or something like this one. So actually, you know, I was I looking forward to watching this uh, every week's kind of news, you know, the kind of animation. And because being this, uh, uh, one of the team creator, so I got the uh, script beforehand. So I read the script already, but still like, looking forward to watching the animation. And oh, this part is a change, that the director changed this part, or the director keep this part, or something like that. Okay. I see. So it's, um, we're running with uh, less than nine minutes here, uh, but Pretty much uh, just a couple of uh, questions we got to go here. But the for any of the, I guess, foreign mangaka or I guess individuals that are aspiring to be manga artists, how would you recommend they get started? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Uh, foreign. Uh, Non-Japanese. Yeah, non-Japanese manga mm -hmm. artists. If they, they want to get started of being serious in this career. They're interested in becoming uh a manga, manga creators, a a manga manga yeah. Where, how do you recommend they get started? How do you recommend they um, they uh, begin? Of course, you know. I think now, now nowadays, uh, all the magazines, all the uh, pub publisher has a rookie competition, yeah. and it's not closed to foreign people. Hmm. But of course, if it's a foreigners kind of try to the manga artist. Especially if you the, you guys are thinking about here in Japan, as a language as large barrier, because basically the literary department is that the deal with uh, English. Of course, some part it's gonna uh, so called uh, uh, international competition, as this uh, accept this uh, English dialogue, English speech, speech balloon inside. So it's gonna uh, learn. This uh, I don't know how to draw manga stuff, or of course you can study this uh, uh, from the uh, actual manga. Whatever is okay, whatever is okay, but you can pick up the, the you uh, the manga you like. It could be Kimetsu or um, Demon Slayer. Uh, Demon Slayer. I don't know. Oh English yeah, Demon Slayer or Demon yeah, Slayer. Or Kimetsu no Yaiba. Yeah, you know? Kimetsu or like uh, My Hero Academia. Whatever is all oh, good. Yeah. Whatever I want, take it and study it. Not to just enjoy it. It's a, a long panel work. And why the artist choose this panel? And why this uh, this order, speech balloon, the character, or the character's size? And you can think about it. You don't need. You know, it's not necessarily you read the um right answer you read the answer the uh the manga artist intended thinking is important it's kind of brain training think about the panel and to think about speech balloon why why they choose it why and what the kind of effect you can expect from this something to study that is a very big study for a storyboard and sometimes people say dragon ball this uh to to work it's very good material because his panel work is very simple, very simple and very accurate, very correct. So this uh, study study material, it's kind of very good, but not necessarily Toriyama's whatever it's okay. And maybe sometimes doesn't work, uh, sometimes make a mistake. 
and make, maybe the, you got confused. When you got confused, you can think again. Why you confuse it? Why you we'll can't write? It is very important. Then it, you can draw the manga and whatever. Then uh, apply the rookie competition, the international marketing competition, or if you have someone that's a Japanese from friend, then maybe they can translate they say your dialogue to Japanese. In that case, you can apply that proper looking competition. But they want to close the gate for foreigner. And because of internet, you can apply from anywhere. In Japan, it's the same. All days you need to go to Tokyo to do oh, yes. some manga arts. But nowadays you can live in a Kyushu, Hokkaido, so because of the internet, there is no, of course, you know, the face to face discussion is much better. But you can use a Skype, you can use email, and somehow you can fill the gaps, fill up the gap. So, like, uh, there is a, 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 a not closing in front of the user gate is not closing. And of course, this, uh, if you have a chance, this, uh, and if you can speak Japanese or if you have someone to translate for you as a business publisher and to show your work. And if you got lucky that the editor give you opinions, basically when there's a Lulu gate, not only, uh, uh, Western people, as all the Japanese people that if they can new, uh, people and bring your work, basically editors, uh, uh can say yes, editor accept every single offer because you don't know which can talent the which talent is there so they won't lose they can give the uh, they can give you a chance then if you show the work as a completed work must be completed must be one shot one thing not that uh, first chapter of a long story because the one shot is a show uh prove your ability you can finish then of course it's uh if 100 pages they won't say yes it's too long at the <laughs> 60 to 30 pages 16 to 13 pages around there is a good volume okay yeah then and if they uh uh first one is just read it and thank you and if you can draw a new one you call me you call the editor you call it the development. And the two is the same, but the editor gave you a card and you can call me, not to call the editor department. And so three, it gives some, uh, I think you are good, but you can change this part or this part to give criticize advice. And you can do something new one. I will look. And the four, uh, you are very good. So next time you don't need to bring complete work. You can bring storyboard. I can check it. Then okay. this work, I, uh, I will set apply the rookie competition. And if this uh, result came, I call you. This kind of four, uh, four grade. It's something like that. So these are all the uh, rookie people that visit the publisher to get a card. Many people couldn't get the card, can't get the card. Oh. Just okay, I, I enjoy like, it. Come on, please. <laughs> it's very politely. I enjoy it. You can bring a new one if you uh, finish. And let kind of try to get the business card. And if you get the business card next time, it's a give some comment. It's a sick comment. And if you didn't like something like this, is a way to Japanese publisher works. And if you're lucky, you get win, look, you get win or some, uh, they got some for a prize and the rookie competition. Then get the VW, I mean, that your work and on the magazine. Then uh, you can start, you got this, uh, your uh, ed ed editor, and you can start to talk next to work. I see. It's the way to Japanese publisher goes. Interesting. Okay. Well then, Cloud Nine, I'll uh, leave the last one to you. All right. Well, our last and final question to you. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is something we ask everyone. You know, so I'm interested to hear what you say. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
what is your end game? Meaning, what is your, um, your um, how do you want your career, things to be at the end of your career as a mangaka? Pardon? How do you, or do you have a better way of phrasing it, Nico? Like how? Yeah. Uh, what's your end game? How do you want everything? Uh, where do you want this all to go? What's your goal from here? Your goal at your end of your career as a mangaka. What is your final goal as a, a, in your career? Uh, mm, I don't know. It's just like, you know, like, as long as I have something in my side, I would draw it. Then, you know, actually, I have no goal at all. And there's just this, um, yeah, that's the same when I get the debut. I'm not so really, uh, clear goal, you know, something like, uh, okay, the, my, the set goal as uh, being animated or something like this type of the goal. I ne never think about it. I never thought about it. I just enjoying it kind of keep going and keep drawing. Then if something, you know, if, uh, I run out that my de desire, it's a, a creation desire just to stop it. So I hope it's going to keep going. Something like this, my desire keep going. Then, you know, it's something like a show of desire. You know, it's something that if you come up with some cool story, or if you come up with a cute boy and a cute girl, look, 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 she's so <laughs> cute. Do you agree with me? Or something like this. This is, guys, this life is ideal, my point of view. But how about you? You, 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 uh, you agree with me or something like this one. And something like this is the same. This kind of post something on Facebook and the sick and, uh, la like. Or something <laughs> like this. But something like, um, I want to share my value, my value of her entire life. And even if the romantic comedy, like Wedding Peach, or like the bit, uh, serious story, like the I said, Zone, it's the same to my work and the basic, there's a basic stream. What is good? What is wrong? What is precious? What is pointless? It's gonna all the same. So, you know, sometimes I go to the, uh, letter from reader. Then they said uh, their, uh, thought about my works. And if there's a leader talk, I uh, mentioned about this, uh, uh, same value with me, I'm pretty happy. And something I think I did it. And sometimes can <laughs> the leader lead the, um, what I, uh, didn't intend it. Oh, so you say that they read into it further. Yeah. And some, that time they just say it's the best supplies, but they are very happy. Maybe I intended it uh, unconsciously anyway. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but something like, um, yeah. And of course, like, uh, um, not that many people like a big hit, like, uh, Dragon Ball or Kimit, but still some people enjoyed my work. And some people say it's kind of, uh, my work, it have some point, meaning, weight in their own entire life. That is very pretty happy. That makes me happy. That's the moment maybe I keep going. And, and another ambitious, I mean, my ambitious, but uh, not among artists, by, uh, but it's among a uh, uh, teacher and uh, help someone create something that's a brand new idea. I mean, not kind of idea, kind of concept, like I said before, like a totally new one. It's not a manga, not a comic, but something like uh, because of, uh, I say, because I introduced so you, as a, a manga idea, manga thought, so digest it, and something that can uh, beyond my imagination. So do you want to feel like those uh, those editors uh, do, you know, as a teacher, like how the, you're saying, that the, you, earlier you said uh, editors, or you hear that some editors mm. um, feel very proud, you know, when they, ha if they have a, uh, Ma uh, like manga creators that go on. Yeah, that's very great if someone gets very famous and without me, he never exists. 
<laughs> Not pretty great. <laughs> if I got enough. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, you know, I, I really appreciate you coming on today, Yazawa Sensei. You know, thank you so much. Uh, before we head out, um, you know, was there any, like, as far as the isolated zone, is there anywhere that anyone can find the isolated zone if they're wanting to pick it up or they want to check it out? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Uh, is there where can where can we find the isolated zone if somebody wants to purchase the ice? Yeah, it's only at the time at the point now it's only for uh French engine to exist. Then the uh the isolated zone first it's uh been produced from digital manga and uh, uh ebook style, but because of something happened me and with uh between us, this uh withdrawal from digital manga. But I have a completely light. So I'm mm -hmm. thinking that it's uh, released by myself in a Kindle, like uh, KDB, KDP. Oh, or yeah. Something. It's uh, at the moment, I cannot yet do ink, but I hope. Or, of course, if there is any publisher, it can be interesting way and produce uh, in English, and not necessarily to physical book. And I'm very, really willing really to offer them. At the moment, is uh, the Isaac Dawn is now a French publisher. Uh, this uh, his uh, publishing right in the West. Then they, uh, I heard the contract uh, finished kind of uh, Italian publisher, but no English speaking world. And, and I, I have some English version, like uh, not completed, but the manga did in the middle. So ah, I if I compiled it, I can plot, you know, I can release kind of KDB version anytime. So I am thinking to do this. Okay, okay. Well, I know, you know, we're definitely going to stay out on the lookout for it. That's right. You know, and we're going to make sure we pick up a copy as soon as it comes out. Um, That's right. So, you know, whenever, when, when you are able to release that, you know, we're, we're all excited. <laughs> That's right. Um, and then I know you also have a, I believe, um, a page, uh, Now Yazawa's Manga uh, Bangai Shi. Uh, yeah. Can so we, and everyone, everybody can follow you on there, correct? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll make sure we post that as well so everybody can yeah. follow you on there. Oh, yeah, uh, great. Thank you. Um, anyway, thank you all for joining us. It was a great season. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so that you guys can follow any updates. We will be back with the Shining Spotlight Season 2 uh, back in January. But we're still going to be uploading content on this channel, manga content, you know, about creating manga, you know, whole nine yards, so you don't want to miss that. Um, and again, I want to thank uh, Yazawa Sensei for coming on today. Nico, you got anything else to say, too? No, but uh, well, just more so want to Say, you know, thank you, everybody who came out to check out our season. Uh, now, Yuzawa, thank you for being our season finale guest. And um, let's close it off strong, people. You know, stay safe during this pandemic, and we'll see you all back in January. Thank you so much. See you guys later. Stay shiny. Yeah, thank you for uh, inviting me. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>